pilot, what are you doing now? You're blowing up. I feel funny. I'm not surprised. What's happening? You're blowing up like a balloon. Like a blueberry. Somebody do something. Call a doctor. That was a clip of Denise Nickerson in that iconic scene from the 1971 classic Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. We are remembering her today after she passed away Wednesday night at the age of 62 after being taken off life support earlier in the day. Her son Josh and his wife Jasmine announced the death late Wednesday night on Facebook with a post simply saying she's gone. Earlier in the day, the family shared on Facebook that she was taken off life support because, as they said, it was only making her uncomfortable. The couple added, quote, we're telling her it's okay to let go. The former child star had suffered a major medical emergency on Monday, according to her family, and was taken to the emergency room and eventually the ICU. Her condition had worsened by Tuesday. She was eventually in a coma-like state, according to the family. They confirmed on Facebook that Nickerson had suffered seizures and was in pulmonary and respiratory distress. At the hospital, she was also diagnosed with pneumonia. Nickerson is best known for playing the gum-chewing Violet Beauregard in 1971's Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. The actress was just 13 when she got her big break opposite Gene Wilder, though she told people in August 2016 she didn't actually meet the star until he was in character. She had said, I'm a very fortunate lady to have been chosen to be a part of something that brings smiles to so many faces, and truly it did. Nickerson was born in New York City in 1957, and her first major acting role was on the TV series Dark Shadows from 1968 to 1970. Her family has created a GoFundMe for medical expenses, including the actress's wish to be cremated and her ashes made into a piece of glass art. Our thoughts are with her friends and her family in this very difficult time. She will definitely be missed and remembered for her iconic work.